Hey, welcome to my short lecture on how to choose your statistic that you're going to use. And let me just put out there that there are dozens and dozens of potential tests you could do. and Maybe you don't even want to test. Uh, we'll get to that. So there's a number of tests and this is just uh, how I would go about just trying to wrap my head around uh, how you even get started. First thing you want to find is uh, what are your response variables? These are often referred to as your dependent variable. And put an equal sign here, and you want to list all your dependent variables. So, I mean, all your independent variables are what I call your predictors. All the predictors over here. Okay. And just to give you a uh, an example, let's go with uh, let's go with heart rate, and that might equal something like coffee you had plus. Time since exercise, maybe even the time of day, right? You want to write something out like this, okay? So but then we want to ask yourself a bunch of questions. Okay. First one is, what are your variable types? Oops. What are your variable types? And what I mean by that is, um, is it continuous? The count a binary. You want to pick one of these. Of course, maybe you have several responses, and then your predictors. You want to do the same thing, right? So maybe they're categorical, continuous, etc. Right. Now you also want to know they are. Or random. Fixed variables means that um, it's the same no matter where the experiment is conducted. So if we're looking at heart rate and coffee, it, that's the same for humans no matter where you test it. Random effect uh, might be something like the brand of coffee. Okay. So you just randomly pick two brands of coffee and, and test that. Then we look at variables dispersion. And what you want to do is histogram. Okay. So what does it look like? Is it normally distributed? Is it uniform? Is it skewed one direction or the other? You want to ask yourself, are we interested in hypothesis testing or just the values of parameters? So maybe you know coffee increases heart rate, but you want to know what is the relationship between the number of cups and the actual heart rate, or maybe both. Okay. Maybe you just want to make sure that um, that parameter its value, so whatever the effect is, does not equal zero, okay? So you could be interested in doing both. If you're doing hypothesis testing, then your next question might be, what are my a priori questions? By a priori questions, I mean, if we're looking at, um, let's say we're, we're interested in heart rate and then number of cups of coffee, but uh, we have a control group with 
drinking water. Uh, one group is interested in, uh, they only drink one cup. And then you have another group drinking two cups and another group drinking three cups. Well, you might say, do, um, does coffee drinking any amount differ from the control? So that, that would be an a priori question. All right, next you want to graph. And by graphing, okay, what that'll force you to do is think about, uh, it'll force you to think about your, uh, your variable types. So in other words, if we did the experiment with four levels, remember we had no cups, one, two, three cups of coffee, that'll force us to know that this is actually a group, okay. and graphing can do a number of things. One, let's say we're just interested in the amount of caffeine a person is getting, and we measure it continuously, and we should ask ourselves, is it, can we expect non- the linear results. So just call that curvilinear results. And we expect non-rectilinear or curvilinear results. And what I mean by that is maybe you do expect heart rate to increase with the amount of caffeine, but realize maybe heart rate could increase, level out, or maybe there's no effect to get a certain amount. Realize that these three are three different models of, of how uh, your body responds to caffeine. All right, and once you get that, you can start thinking about and consulting on which statistical test to use. But you should understand your experiment and your variables that you included.